A video surfaced over the weekend of a man's confrontation with Santa Maria police. It has gotten quite the attention online due to what some say is excessive force. KSBY News reporter Alex Gonzalez is live in Santa Maria tonight. He spoke with police and those who saw the altercation. Alex? That's right, Karina. And before we get to that video, we want to warn you that some may find it disturbing. Now, those who saw the video commented on Facebook and hundreds of people left their opinions. Some say police used excessive force in the situation which took place right here behind me. Others say police were just doing their job. According to Santa Maria police, officers pulled over the man in the video on the 800th block of West Barrett Street Sunday for suspicion of driving under the influence. <laughs> As you can hear, police tell the man to put his hands to his side. Shortly thereafter, police fire what seems to be pepper spray bullets and move in. Witnesses who saw the encounter say this prompted what some of them are calling a violent confrontation. She says, I was with my children outside. We were just sitting enjoying the afternoon like we always do. All of a sudden, we heard the police sirens that were coming our way. Shortly after that, we saw two cars, and I thought maybe they were going to some sort of emergency. One of the videos posted to a Facebook community page has close to 400 comments and 1,400 shares. David writes, not sure what the punching was for. He was hiding his hands, though. Deanna commented they should have focused more on restraining his hands behind his back instead of beating him. Others stated the man should have done what police were instructing and don't see anything wrong with the video. Now, I did ask Santa Maria police for an on-camera interview, but they said they would not be able to comment on the incident as they are looking further into it. Reporting live in Santa Maria, I'm Alex Gonzalez, KSPY News. Alex, thank you. Police say the officers were not wearing body cameras, but did have patrol cameras in their vehicles. We have requested that video.